Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Mechanicus in the next episode so to say and we are going to take a look at missions and I think I will do it by rewards the works of the enemy Skitari of the tomb of Acropis have encountered a destroyer form of an Ekron that uses anti-gravitational technology Tech Inquisitor Skavoda has requested a cohort engage Necron Destroyers so this technology can be studied. Collect um, Necron Destroyer specimen samples. Alright, it would give us a refraction shield generator. Absorb 5 damage to allies in range for one round. Well done. Hmm, cognition gauge increase, alright. From the mouth of Meledictus. Uh, Melediction, I think I will do that. The Dif difficulty is normal. From the mouth of. Okay, that we had a counter transmission has flooded the tomb of Ekro Lek with Necron data. Um, Lector Dogmatis Vitex has requested the source of this transmission be located and destroyed. And. Arc pistol. We, I think we already have, don't we? Scan all right. The arc pistol. Single target. Ranged attack. Upon hitting target, turns into a cone area attack. Deals one to two damage to target. Deals one energy damage to chained targets. All right. Not bad. Scanner. An aggressive data mining device replaced by the new cell around the time of the Horus Heresy. The scanner's primary function is to gather data from enemies at a much faster rate whilst keeping tech booster at safe distance. All right. And another easy one. Gain an additional tech priest, Skitari Ranger level 1, and I think I'm going to go with this one here. Subdomina Kipras has requested aid in taking the pressures of her Skitari troops. Collapsing key rays of the tomb of Acropis will hinder enemy movement and stop them from overwhelming the Skitari and death marks. I need to um, be careful with those guys, I guess. So, we now will, of course, take two tech priests. Okay. I will try that out, and then this, and we are deploying. You do not relish this mission, Subdomina Kipra. I ascertain this from your pupil, the dilation and nervous system stress levels. Even in victory, the men and women on the ground suffer. But that is not something I mentioned troubled a, uh, troubles a magus. Well, I don't think so too. Some tech priests choose to excise the emotional centers of their brains, especially when they reach the rank of magus. I did not. I have thought under plenty of mag magi or magi who had no emotion at the loss of men and women in combat. I am glad to know that I am not doing that again. I am capable of quarantining em emotions in my new rewards and choosing to experience them if they are beneficial. I am not ruled by them, but I am not ignorant of them either. This is why casualty rates on missions under my command are 11.7% below the average. Alright, that's good. I like to take that as a good omen. Me too. Subdomina Capra, how goes your attempts of establishing a foothold on Silra Tenebris with our main forces? Operations in the tomb of Acropis are continuing, Magos, but the enemy is pressing our perimeter hard. It is impossible to explore the tomb if all my troops are tied up, keeping themselves from being overrun. Hmm, I see. The enemy is aware of our presence. It seems like it. They are not just attacking at randoms. random. The Necrons are exerting pressure at key points, hoping um, we will falter. Logic demands a response. Ignoring this pre decimated invites defeat your solution. With your help, collapse the tomb on them first. Okay, I will try that out. And let's see whether that is going to work out. I have plotted four locations of uh, in the tomb of Acropolis. If these are made um, impassable with demolition charges, the Necrons won't have to um, won't have to run off their own tube anymore. My court will see this done. 
once the key points are blocked, the Necrons will be funneled into our crossfires. They'll spend a lot more lives testing our def um, defenses. I'm not certain the Necrons can be accurately said to have lives. I think so, they do, or at least their souls have been transferred to the bodies, haven't it? Um, unless I'm a little mistaken there. Well, whatever they have, they are going to lose a lot of them. Alright, so basically there are warriors. And I will first of all go there. Which... It could be worth checking this out. The damage here might give us some information on how best bring to bring the target area. Who, what the hell did I just read there? Some information on how best to bring down the target area of the tomb. That is what I wanted to read out. Um, the chamber ahead is partial collapse of a dangerously sexling ceiling and appears highly dangerous. Blow off some steam. Try to bring down the whole chamber to test the placement of the cohort's demolition charges. Um, avoid the hands of fate. Find a way around the chamber too dangerous to risk the cohort here. Observation protocols. Carefully examine the damage. Um, examine the damage chamber to learn about structural weakness. I will go with that, I think. Okay, minus 2 HP, but cognition points. The court examines the load bearing members of the team's construction, but just as they are starting to gain an understanding of the structure, the chamber sh um, shifts and the ceiling begins to fall. The cohorts are caught in a collapse and escape with injury, but also with some knowledge of the tubes, these tubes design. Alright, then we will go there. Let's see what's going to happen. Um, chase. What the hell is that? Chest cement of the manuals. Many else of the um, sisters Batelican will follow failure of maintenance observation inexcusable um, The detonator of this charge appears to be a dart. Some material must have neglected to perform the required anti-corrosion rites um, Attempt to replace the corrode parts of the charge with the corrode's technology Use a replacement detonator in the hope the whole batch is not effective. Use force. Detonate the clock and charge with gunfire. I will. No! I wanted to replace! Damn it! The court ejects to use a crude but um, undeniable effective solution by shooting the explosive with a red rifle round. The explosive dully detonates, but the armsman is unable to withdraw from the blast zone quickly enough and is hit by the shock wave and shrapnel, suffering serious injuries. Well, I, 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 I was a little stupid there. Necron awakening, warning. Our pressing, um, our presence has been detected. Glyph, what is that again? Um, a single port designed for a Necron um, cannon pack creature extrudes from the device. Hmm. I go with this one. Nice, a single port. Okay, so we hurt it us again. That, of course, is not very good. Several Necron skulls are caved into the walls of the chamber, all arranged looking at a central pedestal um, holding up a globe. No Xenos tech for us. Move clicky, quickly through the chamber without paying its grotesque. De decorations any mind examine the faces um, scrutinize the necron faces on the walls inspect the globe check the globe in the center of the room it may be significance of to the necrons i will go with that nice the globe represents silver tenebris itself with the tomb valley's location picked out in silver before any further intelligence can be cleaned however the eyes of the necrons had fire a few Fusillate of metal darts into the chamber. The god is caught in the trap before escaping the room, suffering several injuries in the process. Necron um, awakening extra Necrons in battle. These Kitari units holding the tube of Ecropis um, are suffering communication glitches and one unit has run a cable of their command post to stay in touch. This cable runs across the chamber ahead and is obvious 
it has become severed, potentially cutting the unit off from the rest of the Skatari force. Quick fix, fix the cable as best as you can, go to the ex go the extra mile, fix the cable and check the surrounding area of the tomb and find this Skatari unit and see how it's faring. It's a Skatari thing. Ignore the cable. This is okay, I go with um, fix that. Um, the cohort repairs the cable and spends the next while searching for the Skitari unit. They find the Skitari lying dead at their post, victims of a Necron ambush, their bodies um, shared, opened by Goat's fire, knowing their efforts are, um, were in vain, push, pushes the cohort dangerously close to this pair. Um, Sheared opened by Ghost Fire. I thought you get disintegrated by Ghost Fire, but anyhow. Continuing here. Fascinating. Could this be some event from the distant history of the Necron race? I have heard rumors of such mythology among the theories about Necrons, but confirming it could be a breakthrough. On the wall of the chamber, it's inscribed a complex design resembling a star map, but the stars are depicted being consumed by ill-defined entities of swirling light and shadows. Okay, that looks nice. Um, erase records, obliterate um, the steel. If it, it is, oh good lord, it is a relic of Xenos mythology and hence Plasthemius archive. Record the Inscription in pick wraps, but spent no more time here than necessary. Examining stop um, to thoroughly examine the inscriptions for information that are pick that a pick trap would miss, and I think that is quite cool. Um, be though wary of the works of the alien, for their presence is poison, and their every word um, deceit. Gethella Morans uh, 94.3 Mark those words well, make us all right. And Necrons reanimate one turn faster, alright, that's not cool, I think. I'll go there. And now we have our first fight of the mission. Be keep in mind, guys, that we are probably not going to finish this fight in this episode, because we only have a couple of episodes um, um, remaining. So, so, okay, creating... A defensive position so what do we have to do actually survive for four rounds all right that will, will do that will 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 do um, honestly I would like to spawn there and there and put in a winger right there and starting the battle like so So that was good. Nice hit. That was good. Did not expect that. Especially I did not expect the Necrons to have um, um, to uh, have the initiative in, uh, before us, so to say. So, okay, they do. Oh, they did two damage. All right. Um, I wanna not be in melee on the one hand so I will I think I will go here and okay I can't do that that's that's too bad so that was him I can't fire it anymore, so I will... The asset is not really cool there. I hope we are not going to die. So I want to heal him up. To be honest, cleansing. Where was it? Um, okay, let's... Repair ourselves. So we are not going to die in one of our next rounds. We are right now in melee. I will get out of here, attack him in close combat. Okay, can't do that anymore. So I'll end our turn. And you are... Uh, 
Oh no, that I did not want to do. Crap, crap, crap. Now we are in a world of hurt, I can tell you. Alright, guys, but that, ah, um, I nearly missed the time there, brings us to the end of this episode, and you know it, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you actually have enjoyed this episode, guys, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day, stay frosty, bye.